Okay, we're starting off on the switches. So we have our filter aid mixer going, then our drum drive and filter agitator. And what that is, is the drum drive rotates the drum, and then there's a mixer bar to keep the solids in suspension. The diatomaceous earth ultimately is going to be coming from this mixing tank here, and it's going to overflow and gravity feed into this pan, and then the vacuum will draw the filter aid material onto the drum. So we turned on the overflow. We also have spray bars going on in the back here. It's a little bit extra water to dilute down the filter aid material, which is in there. No wastewater is being introduced at this moment. And those spray headers actually take off any residual dust that will be on the cloth. And we're going to wait until the pan fills up to a certain level. And we're going to kick on the vacuum pump. And it's going to suck up the water from that slurry. And the cake will begin building on the drum. So we start off with the cloth here. And eventually we'll be building a filter aid cake. Once that cake is built, we'll bring on the wastewater. So you see here that the vacuum has been engaged on the system along with the receiver pump. The receiver pump is basically taking the filtered water and in your case it will be recycling that water back to the filter aid tank. And you can see that we're beginning to build a cake of the diatomaceous earth. Solid cake material on here and then the water is being drawn through. Ultimately we'll be sucking up the wastewater and the solids that have been pH and ORP adjusted will be suspended on the drum surface and removed with this advancing knife blade. As you can see here this is the filter age slurry tank. We have it under agitation. There's an overflow pipe here. So basically just overflowing the slurry and at the point in time when we built the full cake we'll be done with the pre-coat process and we'll turn off the overflow and turn off the mixer and then we're done with the filter aid. Everything here is still in full operation on the controls and we can see here where the cake is starting to build up at a good rate. As it submerges itself into the pan, the vacuum draws the DE up onto the surface. The water is drawn through this hollow shaft and is ultimately pumped away. Cake is building up nice. We're almost ready. Just to show you a little bit on the vacuum, so pouring the water here, you can see the suction of that vacuum where it just sucks up that moisture almost instantly and then it gets disposed of. Okay, we're going to be beginning the filtration process, bringing the wastewater over into the pan here. There will be level control sensors to gauge as it fills up and the solids are going to be coming out so dry it'll be going right into a cardboard box. Okay, the wastewater is beginning to fill into the pan here. This is wastewater that's just simply treated with pH and ORP adjustment. The drum is rotating with the cake inside here. Solids accumulating on the drum surface and then coming off the knife blade, which is advancing slowly because the solids aren't very high. We're still keeping a good vacuum. And those solids are just slightly dropping off into the cardboard box, ultimately uh, a dumpster. Alright, so here we have. Uh, U.S. plating wastewater, just again to show chrome and nickel being drawn right up through the system. And continue just to pull solids. So the solids keep coming off here. Good coming down into the 
cardboard box. You see here, there's no, no moisture coming out of this box. The solids are coming off nice and dry, almost like powder. And we are nearly finished with the tank. Here we have our discharge point of the water. See the water being discharged. This is the flow rate of that system here. And here is the clarity of the water. Get a better picture. So here we have the tote completely emptied. Took us uh, a little less than 30 minutes to filter the entire amount. Here is the filtered water. As you can see, crystal clear, colorless water with just uh, pH or P adjust on nickel and chrome. This box here is the corrugated or cardboard box where we collected the solids uh, to prove a couple of things. One is that you can see there is no moisture coming off of this cardboard box. It is not lined. And out of the entire tote, it's not even uh, a quarter full of uh, dry solids. Material that came off and a nice dry solid to boot.